Hey peeps, it's Triple L, and today I'm here to bring you Boku no Hero Academia, or My Hero Academia, Chapter 94, and we're, we're through the hard times. It's only going to be impressions today because top moments would just take away from the relief of this chapter, and it's a relief. You know, All Might's story continues, I think this was the best way of doing it. There's no reason to kill off a character when he can still function. Well, actually killing off a character when they can still function and do things for the story would be the ultimate sadness because, you know, you snuff away what could have been. But I'm actually happy that we do not have All Might dying. I'm happy to see the fallout of how All Might's gonna handle the world now that he has no powers, the world having to know that All Might is down for the count, everyone around him seeing him as this weak and shriveled man. You know, I don't mind. It's... It's what, it's, I, I'll take it. I'm just happy that All Might lived because I want to see more Izuku and All Might moments, especially if All Might's gonna be in a whole new kind of outlook on life. But anyway, peeps, let's talk about this chapter. It was good. It was good. It was nice seeing that it wasn't over with last week's punch, that All Might still needed that, la that last punch and we got to see it in his face and um, all for one's face. It was, it was a powerful moment. And the whole thing with All Might pointing at the cameras and saying the whole you're next and Izuku reacting to it in a different way than everyone else did, I thought was an equally powerful moment. I would have been pretty scared if I was a reporter seeing the guy point at me for some reason. But hey, powerful moment. Let's see. And the other things that I really enjoyed in this chapter were little moments like um, the heroes helping out people in the rubble. They kept looking for people in the rubble while All Might was pretty much dying. And it was it was good. It was good. And one thing in particular that I really enjoyed in this chapter was Bakugou's facial expressions. I've never seen him that relaxed or that somber looking. So I think, especially with the way he looks at Izuku in one panel, I think it means some level of understanding or some level of awareness has like he's he has some, he's thinking something. And it's nice to see it in panel in art. So, very good. Very good stuff all around. With the All Might stuff, very good. Um, in regards to All For One, I think this chapter did a lot for him. And this chapter was effectively those two halves. The All Might celebration and All For One's imprisonment. We find out All For One is not getting a trial. He's just going straight to jail. He's in the cell adjacent to Stain, and I'll talk about that in a bit. But what he says when he's talking to the prison guard... I can't help but feel bad for him, especially because it sounds so pathetic. It's impressive that he was using an infrared quirk to kind of echolocate or kind of like map out his surroundings and how being in this cell, he really can't do that. Him saying sorry is like, well, shit, man, I, I, I feel bad for this guy yelling at you like cop abuse, right? But all for one kind of deserves it. I mean, does all for one deserve it? Yeah, right. He has to. He's killed people. He has to deserve it. But... I don't know, I, I, I felt kind of like, I, I felt a lot of pity for him in that moment. And all for ones being put away. Honestly, in my opinion, I think he might have, he probably should have died. I don't think keeping this kind of person alive is doing anyone any good. And now seeing Stain in the cell next to him, Stain is brought back into the story. I don't think Stain's just going to stay in that cell. It's just, especially now because he's, because we saw him again, I don't think it's just like a nice little cameo or a nice little reference. I do think Stain will come into play sometime in the future. Especially because we don't fully know Stain's backstory. So that'll be interesting. Anyway, what All For One was saying about teaching students, we do have that teacher philosophy that comes up when it's All Might and All For One. And, you know, this is one of those philosophies I feel is kind of just tacked on because it's a school setting. But anyway, All For One is saying that All Might lost his chance to die and now his student is going to become even stronger because his teacher is taken away. And in this regard, All For One is pretty dangerous because he takes every situation he can into an opportunity to make Shigaraki stronger. And man, that panel at the end, it's pretty rough because now... 
we get the whole idea that Izuku has gotten the torch for one for all that All Might has officially it's officially gone from him and now Izuku is the full bearer and now Chigaraki kind of gets his call to arms through one for all or sorry all for one speech and it's just man I don't, I don't know it's gonna be full on Izuku versus Shigaraki but the danger for All Might still isn't gone because now Shigaraki could end up killing him and that'll be rough that would be really rough that would just be a twisted twisted death if it, if it ever did come to pass oh, but let's see what else can I talk about here it's a good chapter you know I'm just I'm relieved I'm relieved that we got through this I'm relieved that All Might's still alive because you know I'd rather he not die um, Izuku is gonna have to step up now and I'm excited to see what the next arc is gonna be I predict that the next two chapters are gonna be kind of a fallout and then we're gonna be jumping into the next arc we have to see what the kids are gonna get penalized with what their punishments gonna be they didn't get involved in actual combat but they used their quirks out in the open so I I, I don't know how that's gonna fly with legislation but anyway peeps Tell me what you thought about this chapter. It's really just a chapter where you could go, great, he's alive. Um, I liked it. You know, it was one of the weaker chapters because I feel, I feel that the stuff with All for One was really good and had its, it was well warranted. But I just think the stuff with All Might at the beginning just went on a bit too long. I kind of wanted more out of the All Might interactions. But um, it's what it's what we get. I, I like this chapter. I just kind of wanted a little bit more because the last two chapters have been super exciting. And this one's just a relief and not much after that. Seeing Stain was a nice plus. But uh, yeah, that's it for me, peeps. Um, tell me what you think and uh, have a good day. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and if you liked what I had to say, you know, like, comment. And if you did like what I had to say, consider subscribing. I mean, chances are you might like other things I have to say. But anyway, peeps, until next time, have a good day.